it's time to finish off the British for bolt action. So yeah, I'm going to be painting the Tommies now. And as usual, he's in his black primer, ready for the first coat. The first colour I'm going to be using is Vallejo English Uniform. And I'm going to be using my favourite, my old dry brush here. So that's the brush I'm going to be using for the first coat. Him after two coats of English uniform. The next colour that I'm going to be using is Russian uniform. And that's going to be for the straps and the ammo pouches. So I'm going to be painting the backpack as well. Yeah, just one more thing while I'm thinking about it. If you have an officer and he has a gun holster, I also paint that Russian green as well. Okay, the next colour that I'm going to be using is khaki. That's for the rest of the equipment, such as the pouch, entrenching tool, and the gaiters, or the putties. Also paint the straps on the water bottle as well, so paint it like a cross. You don't have to be too neat at this point, you can always tidy it up afterwards. Right, the next colour that I'm going to be using is German Camo Medium Brown. That's for the entrenching tool handle and the water bottle.
so any of the men that have got a pickaxe or shovel can paint the handle medium brown as well. The next colour that I'm going to be using is Reaper Paints Muddy Brown. So Flat Earth will do as well, it's pretty much the same colour. And that's going to be for the rolled up cape. It's like a waterproof cape they used to wear sometimes to keep the soles dry. <laughs> that I'm going to be using is bronze green and that's going to be for the helmet Helmet painted now. Also, if you have any hand grenades attached to them, paint them bronze green too. The next colour that I'm going to be using is Ebony Flesh. That's from Reaper Paints. And that's for the wood on the guns. Score I'm using is blade steel and that's from Reaper Paints as well. That's for the bayonets. The next colour that I'm going to be using is fair skin and that's from Reaper Paints. Now using khaki again, just dry brush the netting on the helmets. There's also a chin strap as well that can either dry brush or just paint with khaki. colour is black. This is Reaper black. This will be used for anything like the guns where it needs to be black, like a stain gun. The next colour that I'm going to be using is Agrax Earthshade and that's a wash for the uniform. Mm -hmm. 
don't apply the wash to everything just the brown uniform okay try and be a bit more cautious with it use it more like a paint than just splash it on everywhere right the next colour that I'm going to be using is Rikland Flesh Shade and that's a wash and that's for the flesh tones need to do now is go around each figure and look for any little bits that I've missed then we can get on with basing then so that's the British finished <laughs> 